Yo, oh, what up guys and welcome back to another one. I'm trying to be as quiet as possible. As you can tell, got the old camos on. Yeah, the pants, not the greatest situation. They are extremely faded and we're going to be changing that situation here. <laughs> but yeah, these pants are probably like 10 years old. Literally the only clean ones I could find today. And as you can see here, we have a cut hay field. And what I've been noticing is up and down the rows of hay, there has just been starlings. Starlings everywhere. Seriously, starlings walking up and down those hay rows, eating. And the great thing is, is there's a big body of water that butts up to the other side of it. So it's just this perfect situation of food and water all in one spot. So I think the plan today is we're gonna give that a good walk and see if we can scare up some starlings out of it. Uh, it probably won't work. I'll probably end up scaring them before we get close enough to shoot them, but we're gonna give it a try. And then after that, we're gonna go back in the woods here, back where the cattle are and try to shoot some starlings, uh, maybe some Eurasian dove, hopefully a squirrel. So we got like three species-ish on our list that we can actually shoot today because today we are going to be doing a catch clean and cook you've missed them i've missed them they're coming back but really really quick y'all i'm giving away a two-day waterfowl hunt here in central kansas all you got to do to enter to win that bad boy is go down to the top of the description below and there will be a link for the bobby guy films merch yes i just came out with my own merch it's awesome we are adding some more merch by the end of the week some great waterfowl designs so if you don't like this just stay tuned we'll have some great waterfowl designs for y'all coming up but whenever you purchase a piece of the bobby guy films merch it enters you to win the two-day hunt that will be for this season so we'll be drawing the giveaway probably in the middle of august but we have done one video out here recently it was the last solo hunt you guys loved it and uh that day we shot one starling we took it back and we cooked her up and it actually didn't turn out too bad so today i'm like you know what there's a couple more species on the old list. Let's uh, see what we can come up with today. Maybe it's another starling. Maybe it's a starling and a squirrel. We can have us a little kebab. You never know. But the plan is, guys, I'm going to put the GoPro on the head. This big old contraption of a camera has to go away. And we're going to get to hunting. We're going to shoulder the old 12 gauge. See if we can uh, make something happen for our catch clean cook here in a little bit. The cut hay field, like I said, this is where we're gonna start, guys. I've been seeing them bounce around out here. And by the way, not a lot of wind today, so it shouldn't be bad on the old GoPro mic. I have to figure out something for the mic of this thing. I'm actually rocking the mid-range uh, Carlson cremator today. I switched it up a little bit. These small, small birds. Um, I've just been thinking that a more open choke might help a little bit get them down because i do want to uh have a decent catch clean and cook at the end of this here video i'm seeing some starling traffic over there i think we uh after this we're gonna head over there by the way i wanted to ask you guys would you guys be interested in seeing an all-out sparrow hunt if you guys want to see that it'll actually be coming up on the next video if you guys want to see it so if you do you got to drop a comment down below and let me know hey thanks train Whew, been walking walking and lots of birds out here feeding there's actually three of them out there but they are certainly not starlings that's one thing about this guys if you're just picking up starling hunting um, make sure guys you know what you're shooting at before you even pull the trigger I'm serious I'm not trying to sound like I know it all but ooh, look at that look at that old tortoise got smashed on by the tractor ooh well I'm hoping we're gonna have a lot more luck once we get up by the uh, feed bunks where the cattle actually are I'm thinking we will. I'm seeing a lot more traffic that way. And why we came out early today, guys, was, man, I haven't done a morning AM hunt for so long. Right now, it's sitting right about 7.20, 7.30 in the morning. 
Uh, this is when everything comes out to feed, so that was my idea. My idea isn't working out too well, but I'm sure we're going to have some improvements once we get back there. The cows that y'all named, oh you guys came up with some great names and we actually picked out a couple. So be looking out for the next farm vlog with Jordan and I. We will be uh, telling you guys the names of them cows. You know, Linda's buddies, oh yeah. And I picked a winner of the side-by-side -side name too. So I gotta announce that as well in the next farm vlog. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I see a rabbit. We got a rabbit right here. Oh, I missed him. He down, he dead. There we go. Now our catching cook just turned on. We got a rabbit down, baby. Holy crap. Can't believe that just happened. I was literally over there. See, what happened was that rabbit did not even see me coming, didn't even think I'd be coming because I came from the back side of the farm. A lot of animals, they see a lot of traffic come in this road. Well, I came from over there. And as you could see on the camera, I hope the camera got it good enough. We're still on the GoPro here, y'all, so I hope it doesn't look too bad. As I came around that, that bell and I was talking to y'all and I seen that rabbit, he didn't see me at all. Call it the ducks camo, call it what you will, but we got us a cottontail down, baby. Woo! First one here on the channel. I remember last winter, me and Jordan tried to kill one. And we didn't have any luck, but check it out, there he is. Decent sized cottontail, not too bad. But I don't want to show a lot of it. I actually had to cut the camera and uh, dispatch him off camera. We don't want these videos to get demonetized and tampered with any more than they already do. So I'm sure you all understand that. But I'm going to take him to the truck, put him in the bed of the truck so uh, a dog can't get him while I'm hunting here. But we're going to try to shoot uh, a couple more species. I'd like to at least get a starling as well. Have a little rabbit starling kebab. <laughs> Whoop! So if you guys are liking this video so far, you have to smash that thumbs up button. Thank you, much appreciated. All them mushrooms. You guys know what type of mushrooms those are? Drop a comment down below. Wow, they are just growing everywhere. Man, that tree was full of starlings. I couldn't tell what they were until it was too late. But guys, this is the back side of the... Oh, there's another rabbit. Oh, another rabbit. I think I missed him. Well, this is now Rabbit Haven. A cottontail came busting out of here, right out from under this old implement and junk pile. Oh, I don't think I got him. Oh man, he came busting out right here. <laughs> couple rabbits that wouldn't be bad that was awesome see guys these these huge dead trees like this birds absolutely love them especially the doves so come dove season this is going to be the hot spot man he busted out of there he came cruising through here this is where i shot hit right here somewhere i don't believe i got him though it's good news though is that uh we got the rabbits in abundance cottontails are everywhere back here tell you what though if you guys have never rabbit hunted it's uh it's a lot of fun i actually wasn't expecting to get into the rabbits today actually it wasn't even on my agenda i've never even cooked rabbits so this is going to be a learning experience for not only you guys but me as well all right guys the uh, plan of attack here is going to be just this, staying extra quiet and really sneaking around. The last time that I was hunting starlings in here, uh, I couldn't just go barreling through here, being loud, shouting at the camera and everything, guys. I for sure have too many clothes on, uh, pants and long sleeve, not the uh, greatest decision, but it's keeping me from getting plowed over by mosquitoes. So. Where you lose one, you always win one. Like I said though, uh, the key ingredient now to downing a starling is to just be extra quiet and sneaky. That's it. They are smart. They see you coming from a lot farther away than a rabbit. Put it that way.
Holy smokes, these mosquitoes are horrible. Wow, gnats are everywhere. This is where I, oh goodness, look at these wood ducks. Oh, hear them? <laughs> yes, yes. Woodies all day. I love me some wood ducks. It's actually a pond right over here where they're going down. That was sweet. Oh man. Well, I have made a complete round uh, through the heavy stuff. And I gotta say, the only thing I'm catching back there is mosquitoes. That, that's about it. Uh, I think game plan now is make our way to the truck, but on the way, we haven't went through this. This is where we scared the last cottontail in too. So I'm actually gonna start over there and I'm gonna try to work them and shove them out into this open area. We're gonna see if that works or not. So guys, if you're wondering about rabbit, uh, it's open most of the year. You just need to go to uh, your uh, wildlife uh, and parks page for your state. And uh, I know here in Kansas, it's open most of the year. And I think the daily bag limit is 10 and uh, possession limit is like 30 so it's crazy I need to start doing it more so again if you guys are liking the rabbit hunts uh, let me know down below and we'll get out here a lot more all right we should be getting into rabbit territory checking around all this old machinery and stuff. Like I said, this is where rabbits love to nest and this is where they love to hunt. They live in stuff just like this. This is actually where we kicked out that last one at. Woo, back on the road here. Oh, let me tell you what, that AC feels amazing. Oh man, I think I just got ate up by about a thousand mosquitoes. The back of my neck is just, Pour up. Look at that. We've got two Eurasians, big old Eurasians, right in front of us, right there. Look at them. Two big old collared doves. Goodness. Look at this. These, see all these birds right here? Those are all starlings. Holy smokes. Now that I'm driving around, there are tons of starlings, but they're staying in big groups. I didn't see those groups when I was trekking around back there. But we're gonna have to come back to uh, this farm, my buddy's farm here, and uh, shoot some Eurasians, some collared dove, because they are tasty. But yeah, AC feels amazing. Uh, we're gonna head back to the house, and uh, I'm gonna dress this rabbit. I might clean some of it on camera. You know how it goes in the YouTube monetization businesses. They don't like the cleaning of the animals to be completely shown. So we'll see how much of that we can show. And hi buddy, look, look at there. What's that dude? Says, ooh, you got a rabbit dad, ooh. No Fred, you can't have it dude, no. Well, I just got done watching a short video on how to clean a rabbit. Cause like I said, I've never shot a rabbit. I've never cleaned a rabbit. I've never cooked rabbit. And they said, uh, with cottontails, uh, you want to get them home and you want to clean them as soon as possible, especially when it's hot like this. It's different when it's like 30 below, you know, but like this, they say they go green extremely fast, especially if the gut has been split. You know, if you shoot it and you actually split the gut and it's leaking out, yeah, all the meat can go bad really fast. So, uh, the process, yeah. The process of cleaning a rabbit is extra gruesome and there's no way YouTube will allow me to monetize this video if I show the whole process. So, yeah. You have to gut a rabbit and, and one thing they really said, one thing they really hit on in that video was cook it on the bone. You gotta eat it right off the bone. Don't fillet it out, you waste a lot of meat. And they were right. The rabbit has a ton of meat in it. It's, a, it's actually a two-man meal, a light two-man meal, but a huge one-man meal. So, 
I stuck all the rest of the meat in the freezer. And I was like, what should we cook? And here we have it. We have the legs. So we're going to cook cottontail hind legs. Check that out. I mean, that's a lot of meat. Plenty just for me for a good old-fashioned rabbit lunch because y'all know the wife ain't gonna have it She's here and she's gonna help me film cooking the, cooking it and everything and me eating it But I guarantee it she's not gonna eat it So so I didn't want to go and waste everything just by cooking it and no one else helped me eat it Because that's gonna be a lot of meat just by myself for a nice little midday luncheon well, we are inside in the kitchen here gonna get things started with the old cooking process and what I got here is I got me a decent little bag of flour where we will be doing all the shaking and baking. Got some pepper. Now I've always heard that rabbin tastes just like chicken. It's really, really good. Never ate it. Like I said, today is the first day. But I have to go with the Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Wing Sauce. Oh, my boy Flair uh, put me on game right here. And I will tell you what, it has never done me wrong. So here we got both legs now. We let them bleed out in the water quite a long time. I mean, honestly, look at that. Just looks like chicken. So I reckon what we'll do here is just take some Franks and oh yeah, let's uh, put quite a bit in there. That should do it. Flip those around a little bit, get them nice and covered up. Oh yeah, now we're, now we're looking good. Look at that. I'm probably going to let them marinate in the fridge for probably two hours. Going to do two hours. I want these suckers to be tasty. Ooh, there she is, ready to go. All right, here we go. Our uh, oil is ready to go. Let's actually give it a little check in here. Oh, yeah, look at her sizzle. She is ready to go. So what I did here, got me a bag of some flour. Going to take our uh, black pepper and uh, throw some black pepper actually in our bag of flour. Don't need too much. There we go. Give that a good mixing up. My rabbit leg here, it actually looks just like chicken. It doesn't scare me too bad because it looks so much like chicken. I'm gonna hover it over the top and I'm gonna get me some of this chicken seasoning and sprinkle each side of it. And then throw it in the bag Seal her up, keep some air in there, and then give her a good shaking. Now this is how I cooked my starling the last time, and I tell you what, it turned out amazing. The only thing different is, is that I didn't put the chicken seasoning on the starling, but check it out. Fully covered. Let's drop her on in now. Ooh, yeah, buddy. Woo, she is going off. Now, a lot of you guys have told me, Bob, you have to do some rabbit catch clean cook. And let me tell you guys, I was kind of weary about it. I'm like a rabbit, you know. I tried hunting them a couple times, couldn't find them. But now, we are finally here. We gonna eat some rabbit today. So real quick guys, if you guys have any special rabbit recipes that I need to be trying, you need to put them down in the comment section below. Let me know because the Frank's Red and, and the flour and a little bit of seasoning, I think it's gonna go a long way. But I know there are some other recipes that are way more involved, a lot more fancy, you know. Well, I figured we're just gonna go ahead and cook up the other one here. This one, we'll do the same thing with. Give her a good old shaking too. Get her nice and covered. You gonna eat with this with me, babe? Yes. No? Come on, it's, I guarantee you this is gonna be like one of the best things we've cooked here. Put it on a salad. Put it on a salad? Mm -hmm. If we make a rabbit salad, will you eat it? <laughs> there we go. Check that out. Don't that look scrumptious? Ooh, see how she's cooking. Oh yeah, look at that. Pretty done on that side, isn't it, babe? Well, we are looking good here. Let me tell you what. No, we'll leave that one just for a minute longer here. Well, 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 check it out. Looking pretty good to go here. Oh my goodness. A little burnt on the bottom side. I wanted to cook it pretty good, so that's going to be our first piece to try there. I've let this one cool off quite a bit here. We're going to go ahead and give it our first taste test here. And you, you know, I'm pretty confident with my cooking skills, but man, 
Yeah, that looks just looks like good. chicken. Look at that, doesn't it? Mm hmm Look at that. Film that. I mean, it looks just like chicken. It's the You it's want good. some, Bubba? Yeah. Yeah, he wants some rabbit. Ooh, it's hot. It's still hot. Oh, it's so hot. Too early, Bob. Too early. Wow. You can't even tell the taste, the difference between mm -hmm. this and chicken. Wow. Literally, wow. No, you guys weren't lying when you told me rabbit tastes like chicken. It tastes just like chicken. I mean, identical. Hmm. This is one of them foods that I can taste. I, I don't taste any game in it. It literally tastes just like chicken. This is one of them foods where we probably didn't need the Frank's Red Hot because literally it's really good meat. That is the best catch and cook I've ever done by far. Hands down. No, I will you say. You said all that with, okay, <laughs> your mouth is full. It's okay. Yeah, I'm still, still munching on it. It's a little chewier than chicken. It's like just a hair chewier than chicken, but not bad at all. That's actually really, really good. I just scarfed that bad boy down. I ate both of those rabbit legs, and I'll tell you what, that was an awesome little lunch. Served with some macaroni or some rice or something, you got a full meal for yourself. Now, like I said earlier, a full rabbit is a two-man meal. A light two-man meal, but it's still a two-man meal. To eat a whole rabbit by yourself, you would be stuffed, and I mean full. But I really hope you guys enjoyed the catch clean and cook today. I really enjoyed it myself. Honestly, going into this video, I did not think about rabbits. I went into it like, hey, let's try to go get a Eurasian dove and a starling. That was my kind of go-to. Wasn't it, bud? Wasn't it? You're ready to go hunting. Me and Fred, we've been working a bunch. We're actually going to start gun breaking him here really soon. So I'm hoping that he takes to it well and doesn't freak him out too bad. Should be good to go, though. Yeah, but the rabbit, it just happened. You know what I mean? I walked up on him like, that's a cottontail. Boom, I, I tagged him on the first one. Didn't completely get him down. Had to give him the old double tap, but you know. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to go pick up a piece of Bobby Guy Films merch down at the top of the description below. It will enter you to win the two-day hunt that I'm giving away this waterfowl season, this upcoming season here in Central Kansas. But again, guys, if you guys have any recommendations for videos you guys want me to do, any type of catch clean cooks that we haven't done, any type of hunting that we haven't done, I want to get after those new species. So drop a comment down below and let your boy know. Thank you guys for being here. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.